Hello, hello, hello! Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Renault, and I'm glad you're here, and I appreciate you stopping by to visit and check out this video. My name is Renault once again, and what this video is about is going to be a, just a kind of a review for what I've done over the past couple of months. Uh, specifically, my Chris, what I did on Christmas, and some expectations going forward in the future. So, uh, this is kind of like a year in review for me, post-Christmas analysis. Let's do that first. So, uh, over the start uh, year, I started doing a blog of the week. That blog of the week, um, I, because I was not committed to it, did not succeed as well as I had thought. Because I just wasn't updating it, it was completely optional. It was like the least important of my uploads, at least that's how I perceived it. And it took like a backseat to doing comic reviews and everything else. But I ultimately uh, forgot the purpose of that blog of the week. That blog of the week was kind of just one to do a week in review, but also to hold myself accountable because I was planning on losing weight. That was ultimately its primary goal. And once I lost track of that, I stopped doing my blog of the week. Uh, speaking of losing weight, uh, that has not been successful because my weakness came out this year. It didn't last year, but it did this year. And that's a thing called uh, apple cider donuts. I love Entenmann's apple cider donuts. And uh, once I uh, fell into that trap, I ate a lot of those donuts. I did not lose any weight. In fact, I think I gained a couple of pounds. So... That's what's been going on. I uh, reamped my channel. I really started doing a lot of uploads starting in August. Uh, I was just doing uh, something simple that I could do kind of consistently with that blog of the week. I also did some Spelunky reviews, uh, walkthroughs for the daily channel, something that I can stay committed to daily. I wasn't able to do that daily, but not for a lack of trying. There's the situation with my controller where um, if I turn on Spelunky and my controller's been disconnected at all, it won't register my controller, and so I just couldn't always uh, do the uh, daily challenges on Spelunky, and ultimately I just said, screw it. What a pain in the backside that is. So I probably won't be doing the Spelunky daily challenges so often in the future, just because it's so unreliable with my controller. I have that plugged into my computer, and uh, you know... You move around, you accidentally disconnect something, and then you plug it back in and it just doesn't work. So I probably won't be doing a Spelunky daily challenges any longer, but what I will be doing is Lords of Waterdeep. So trade one for the other. And uh, also I was also doing the blog of the review, uh, we blog of the weeks, kind of just to let people know how my day's been going, how my week's been going. And uh, I really dedicated myself to going back to school this semester. Uh, starting in August. So that's another thing that I've been doing with my blog of the week. Just, you know, handling my classes. I did drop one of my classes because it was an utter nightmare. It was a crap show to say the least. My instructor was a D-bag, but my, I had a team assignment. And this was the worst team assignment I've had in college. So I, just, they, they dropped the ball. Um, I'm not really going to go into it. If I were doing my blog of the week, I would have duck gone over it but you know there's no point in just uh, focusing on that so uh, anyway that's what i've been doing uh classes were great otherwise uh, i'm uh, really uh happy that i've been doing some more volunteer work so i'm going to be going over that a little bit more in the future so i'll touch upon that some more the other thing i wanted to mention is that uh my christmas and what that what I've learned from that Christmas is uh, it's really important to uh, just stay focused on what really matters. Uh, I know people keep saying that, but unlike with me and my blog of the week and weight loss, you really can focus on what matters. Online is not the real world. No matter how utterly involved you get in it, it's not real. Don't focus on it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry whether it's YouTube drama, Twitter drama, Instagram drama, Facebook drama. It's not real. It's fake. Anyway, on to what I did on Christmas. So for Christmas, I took, uh, I went to a buffet and I took uh, some friends of mine with me. My treat. We went to an all-you-can-eat buffet. And so I just want to do a quick 
food review of my uh, buffet. I, I could do it in a separate video, but I'll just do it all together. So what you're looking at here is uh, four dishes. And so what you're seeing here is uh, the first one is a uh, broiled beef. That bro broiled beef uh, kind of in the back on the left hand side. Uh, that was actually really good. One of the things I really hate about beef is the ligaments and they don't tear easy like I've never really been able to just tear into it or tear it apart like my more carnivorous friend how I know one guy he eats beef all the time he ate steak he whatever and tearing into those ligaments was never a problem for him but it is for me and I hated it but uh, the no problem with that world beef it was pretty excellent I would give it like you know it still had a little bit there and then I actually uh, tore off a little fatty chunk, which was pretty much inedible. So I would give that an 8.8. .8. Those spicy hot links are usually a huge standout, and they did not dis disappoint. But it did have the problem with not hot hot links. And that's, uh, you know, they're tasty, and they're sufficiently spicy without being too spicy. But uh, they had a high fat content, which would normally be good, except... Uh, since it was a hot hot links, because, you know, it's a buffet, it kind of congealed a little bit, and I didn't like the texture there. But otherwise, it was fine. I give that a 9.2 out of 10. Up next was the uh, roasted salmon with pomegranate glaze. You can see that at the front right here. Uh, that was actually pretty good. Um, the pomegranate was not overwhelming. Uh, I The fruits, the pomegranate seeds were juicy. I've had pomegranate seeds where they're just really hard and you bite into them and it's like, oh, I don't even see the point. But I don't know what they did here, but the pomegranate seeds were juicy. I'm going to have to look into that because that was pretty excellent. I like the glaze. It had a nice subtle flavor. The salmon was cooked very well. I'd give that a 9.3. Lastly, with the seafood chow fun. And I was actually enjoying the chow fun until I finally got a bite of the seafood in the seafood chow fun. And I found the the seafood in the seafood chow fun did not really mesh well with the chow fun flavors itself. It really stood out and didn't kind of just merge well. And so I actually have to, it actually, the seafood and the seafood chow fun distracted from the dish overall. So I would actually have to give that like an 8.3 out of a 10. And that's just because, you know, if you have seafood chow fun, chow, the seafood should be the star. Instead, the Chow Fun was this, and the other like the veggies and the scallions or whatever was the star. And the Chow Fun was kind of like a sidetrack distraction. And uh, so there is that. But it's a buffet, it's all you can eat. And as you can see, I did not load up my plate. I wanted to take a little bit of everything. So the next thing I had was right here. Uh, that's a New York strip take, strip steak with peppers and onions. And then on the right front, you can see some lemon snapper with a lemon cream sauce. Uh, behind that is uh, some braised pork loin with an apple raspberry glaze. And in the back left is a pork confit slider with a raspberry yogurt sauce. So let's just get this out of the way now. The pork confit sliders was disgusting. Holy crap. It was nasty, like nasty of all nasty. I actually spit it out and uh, had some water to wash my mouth out because it was just that disgusting. I don't know how you have something get that's disgusting get past, but maybe I just didn't like how it was cooked or whatever, but it was gross. Up next was that New York strip steak. And again, it's beef. And so a lot of the time I have a problem with the ligaments in there. But that wasn't a problem here with the New York strip steak. Uh, it was actually pretty good. Oh, by the way, for that uh, pork on feet sliders, I give that a 1 out of 10. Actually, you know what? 0 out of 10, because that buffet was expensive for Christmas. 0 out of 10. Anyway, the uh, New York strip steak. Uh, again, it was well marinated. It had a, still a little bit of that uh, ligament problem for me, which I just don't like. But overall, it was well cooked. I liked it. I'll give that a, just as a 8.8 .8 out of 10. Not exceptional for the price, 
but whatever. Mm. Up next was the uh, braised pork loin, and I don't know, just the pork was loin wasn't doing it for me. I mean, it was well cooked. I think maybe I just don't like pork as much as I used to. Uh, I'm kind of like, was it well cooked or did I just not like it? But whatever. I'm going to say I just didn't like it and give it a uh, 7.7 .7 out of 10. And, now, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just maybe I just don't like pork. But the real star of the show, at least on this plate or this helping, was that lemon snapper with the buttercream and lemon buttercream sauce. That was exquisite. Really excellent. I loved it. Uh, I would give that... I, I can't think of anything wrong with it. To be honest. Uh, I have no... It, no flaws. It had absolutely no flaws. So I'm just actually going to give that... Uh, lemon snapper... With the lemon cream... A perfect 10 out of 10. And the reason why I'm giving it a perfect 10 out of 10... Is because I don't like lemon. Lemon is among my least favorite foods fruits but i still like this and so that's a testament to how good that was oh yeah uh i almost forgot to mention the uh the elephant in the the white elephant in the room the mashed potatoes now that's actually butter infused potatoes i don't know what that means but it was delicious uh i uh, again the only thing that was missing was gravy for some reason there was not gravy to come with it I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked. So I'll give that just a 9.5. You lose 5 points. Just for not having a gravy. Anyway. Um, so on to dessert. Now the dessert for this. Uh, you know there's a whole. Uh, assortment of things. I tried what I thought was going to be like a butter rum cream. Little gelato thing in a tiny little cup. But then it turned out to be lemon. Now, to, it, because it was lemon, lemon is my least favorite fruit, I was like, oh, this is kind of gross. And so I just put it off to the side. It's a buffet, you can do that. You don't have to clean your plate, so to speak. So you can be really picky if you want. So uh, that's just, a, by the way, a testament to how good that lemon snapper was. Because normally I don't like lemon, but I still gave it a shot and it was delicious. This like lemon pudding, whatever, lemon custard was gross and I put it away. Another dessert I tried was a chocolate chip cookie, but it's a chocolate chip cookie. Um, you can have excellent chocolate chip cookies, but the competition is fierce. And so, oh yeah, um, by the way, I gave that lemon uh, a non-score, by the way, that lemon custard, because I don't like lemon. It was at a disadvantage. I couldn't finish it, just, and I didn't have to, because it's dessert. I'm kind of full at that point. So a non-score for that lemon uh, custard. The chocolate chip cookie was just okay. I mean, it's kind of hard to make an exceptional chocolate chip cookie um, when the field is so packed. So, but I mean, it, it was it had a lot of butter. So congratulations on doing that. I can't help you know. Be bold, be brave. Put some butter in that. So. Uh, I'm going to give it some extra points just for all that butter they put in, even though, you know, I thought it was okay otherwise. So I'm going to give that an 8.6 out of 10. But you know what the standout and what really uh, had... Um, oh, I also tried, like, the app, some apple crumble. If any of you checked out my uh, Olive Garden food review, I tried, like, um, an Italian crostata with the ice cream on top, and it disappointed this was a true apple crumble. And so, um, it had like, it's like an apple pie without the, cr you know how like an apple pie has like the crust on the side and then the filling and then like on top it's more crust. I, I consider this apple crumble like without that crust on the side that holds everything in and instead it's like a pie without the edges, I suppose. And so, I love that because the crust is usually just not very good. Unless it's a graham cracker crust. Then, the graham cracker crust is worth merit. But anyway, I had this apple crumble, and it was a good apple crumble. Not a great apple crumble, but it was a good apple crumble. 
So I'll give that a 8.6 out of a 10. But the star of the show was like this almond ice cream. I kid you not, this almond ice cream. It had a subtle flavor that really, really stood out on its own. I ate that and it was like, oh, this is delicious. I had to get seconds and then thirds. And then, and on the seconds and my thirds, I'm like, can you, can you give me not like a sample size? Can you just give me a large fill up my cup? I, with that apple, uh, not apple, almond ice cream, because it's delicious, it's excellent. Now here's what I mean by that almond ice cream having a subtle flavor. Um, it's ice cream. So I, I dip my cookie in the uh, that almond ice cream, and the almond flavor disappeared immediately. I was like, whoa, that's interesting. And so, um, you know, going back to that uh, apple crumble I was mentioning earlier, the hot apple crumble, I might add, somehow they were able to keep this hot. I put my uh, almond ice cream in there so that it like could melt and get into that apple and then my apple, which was that apple crumble that was hot, would um, melt the ice cream and then you mix together and become kind of cool and warm and gooey and yummy. I did that and once again, um, the almond flavor just disappeared altogether. So I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. So anyway, um, kudos to uh, that, the almond was ex the almond ice cream was excellent another 10 out of 10. so overall um the, our, our waitress had a little bit of trouble keeping our drinks full so uh a little bit of points marked off but i i oh but only a little bit and the reason why is because every time she came by each one of us had our drink uh filled at it uh we needed a new drink at a different time it's like if it would have been a lot easier for our waitress if we all finished our drinks at once and then she filled it all up at once it would have been easier for her but instead it's like oh okay this person's out of diet coke i'm out of peach tea this other person's out of iced tea this other person's run out of uh, coke whatever and so she just has to keep going back and forth and back and forth there's a lot of extra work so only a little bit of points marked off, but still, a skilled waitress can still do it, so a little bit of points there marked off there. Otherwise, uh, it was what I've come to expect. There's nothing um, food-wise. The only thing that really stood out was the uh, that lemon snapper. But otherwise, nothing really exceptional uh, this time around. Um, I don't know. I think they might have cut back a little bit on their variety. They had some stuff I really don't like. I don't like clams. I don't like mussels. And so there was uh, clams and mussels, but, you know, I don't know how good they were. And uh, I don't. I didn't think I saw any of my the people I went with uh, try any of it either. So, anyway. No, no opinion on the, the mussels and clams and that were there. A lot of seafood this time around. Oh, and by the way, there's also a cold bar where it's like you can get uh, salad and uh, cold salmon and look. There is some lobster and there is some crab, but I consider lobster and crab work because you got to break the shell open and you got to carefully navigate how to eat the inside of it. But I consider that work. I don't want to have to work when I'm eating my food. My food is there too for me to enjoy. So I'm not going to... Anyway, so I didn't get any of that. Also, it's there is a salad bar. I mean, come on, it's salad. No way I'm not touching that at a buffet. Anyway, uh, let's see. Anything else on the food-wise? Uh, nope. Overall, I'd give my buffet experience a, a 9.1. Uh, it had some standouts, but nothing... I've had... I've gone to this particular buffet several times in the past, and for several times in the past, there were multiple standout amazing dishes. This time, it was just the salmon. Don't get me wrong, I don't consider the ice cream a standout, because that's just kind of a, you know, we're finished. And also, it's 
yeah, I don't consider the the ice cream a standout. Your food should be the standout. And the only food that really stood out was that lemon snapper. Anyway, what I plan on doing is in the future, um, hopefully, I'm going to get some articles, not just a video review, but written. Crossing my fingers that I get accepted for uh, that. I've uh, tried to be a writer for a couple of places because you know um, I want to write um, alternative comic reviews because one, alternative comics is cheap. Even if a book isn't good and not necessarily exceptional, I can still recommend it when I normally wouldn't. And uh, the other thing is that I want to help just spread awareness about Alterna, and I can't do that with just YouTube. I would have to do that in writing format as well. So um, hopefully I can uh, write about Alterna for a couple of other sites. Uh, the next, the my final semester is coming up. I'm really nervous because for I'm kind of thinking I'm not the mathematician I used to be. I used to be so good at math, but now my my one of my final classes has to be a, a finance class, and who oh boy. I am really worried about this class. The other thing is like my uh, business experience uh, finale. My capstone, so to speak. I'm worried about that because I don't know how much work it's going to be. I'm going to have like two capstones and like uh, one for my major and then another one for my just a general capstone and then one for my major. So I'm going to have two capstone projects and then a finance class I'm not particularly going to be good at. So nothing that I'm seeing as a cakewalk. By the way, for those of you who are um, tuning in and are in college, always try to save some lower level classes for your degree requirements or some lower level easy electives uh, just so that you can take it easy, you know? Even if it's just a physical education, like, you need some electives, take a physical education, <laughs> like weightlifting as a course or something. Don't do what a lot of people do, and they're like, okay, I've done all my general stuff, gotten that taken care of, and now let's do it to the stuff that's probably going to be really hard. No, that's a bad idea. Anyway, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start doing some more uh, Lords of Waterdeep, less spelunky. I mean, I've met some people in Spelunky, in the Spelunky community. It's really fun, but, you know, like I said, with the controller thing going on, where it, my laptop won't read it if my controller gets uh, disconnected or unplugged, that's not a good thing. So I'm just going to have to pull back on the Spelunky and, maybe, uh, and uh, ramp it up on the Lords of Waterdeep. And I'm going to actually start doing more food reviews. I really enjoy those, actually. And they do okay in the views, so I figure... My personal enjoyment, cross-referencing with the number of views I get, it's worth it, even if they're not my highest rated thing. The highest rated thing is always drama. But with that being said, I actually thought try to avoid doing drama, because I generally don't like drama, but it's not so bad. Uh, it's like, I enjoy talking about um, dra the drama stuff more than I thought I would. But what I, the reason why I didn't go into it at first was because, oh, I don't want to chase the dragon. I don't want to be uh, chasing clicks. But it is, but, you know, that is stuff I'm interested in. It's stuff I'm passionate about. So I think I might start doing that a little bit more often in the future, too. Huh. No, I, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a stop right there there thank you so much for tuning in i figured stop stopping this video right when the music stops is perfect thank you so much for tuning in happy merry christmas have a happy new year and good tidings for all futures as well let's stop before the music gets too deep all right bye-bye